I'm going to digitize a two-color five-point star by using an outline fill for the inside of the star and a column stitch border for the outside. I've already imported my artwork into the design view area and now I'm going to activate the Digimouse by pushing the Digimouse button at the top of the screen. Here I'll select the control points tab from the design view tabs at the side of the screen so that you're better able to see what kind of buttons I'm using to digitize this star. Now I'll begin the design with a simple lockdown consisting of one, two, three, four white buttons. Now when I digitize my outline fill I'm going to set a stitch direction of zero degrees. This means that there will be perfectly horizontal parallel stitches that make up this fill. You can add different stitch directions for your fills and that's a great effect but usually on very soft fabrics or on caps a stitch angle of zero works best. So I'm going to do a basic underlay of running stitches that are perpendicular to the zero degree stitch angle. This will consist of a series of white buttons that are perfectly vertical or close to perfectly vertical. This is going to be a star that will be about two and a half inches tall so I'll just manually input the underlay. It only takes a few minutes. The outline fill also has an automatic underlay that can be set in the property view area but for a small design like this inputting white buttons for straight running stitches works as well there. Now since this outline fill will have perfectly horizontal stitches, the columns that make up the border here and here will pull those stitches open and we'll see fabric through the design. So what I'm going to do is use a very low density column stitch to underlay those areas. I'm going to go to the property view area and select column and then I'm going to select stitch density and set a density of 1.2 there. Now I'll travel up to the areas where I want these underlay columns with white buttons. I'll begin the column sequence with a white button and continue with one, two, three blue buttons. Once again, I travel with the white button. I begin the column sequence with a white button and continue the column sequence with one, two, three blue buttons. You see, because I set the stitch density at 1.2 in the property view area, Every column I sew from this point on will have a stitch density of 1.2 millimeters until I go back to the property view area and change that density. Now I'm going to start digitizing my outline fill. I'll travel to the area where I want to begin using white buttons. I'm going to select the zoom in button from the top of the screen and enlarge the area in which I'll be working. The outline fill sequence begins with a white, a green, and a white button. To define the size of the outline fill I can use white buttons for straight areas or green buttons for curved. So I begin defining the size of this fill with white buttons. I can pan and scroll around to different areas of the design 
using my scroll bars. And you can see I'm setting the edge of this outline fill just to the inside of where the column outline will later sew. And I'm using white buttons for these straight sections. there. I've gone back to the point where I began and I stop the inputting of the size of this outline fill with a blue button and I end the fill with yet another blue button. Now that the fill is finished I digitize a lockdown with one, two, three white buttons. I'm going to select the Zoom to Fit Window button so I can take a look at the entire layer and see if there's any editing I want to do. I'm going to enlarge this area so we can take a look at how I digitize the outline fill at the points of the star. I squared these areas off rather than bringing it up to an absolute point because if I did that would have resulted in very short stitches and thread breaks. Also notice on these areas where the parallel stitches in this outline fill are going to have a tendency to push the fill up in this direction, I brought the edge of the fill closer to the inside of the column stitch outline. I also squared off the points on each of the bottom points on the star once again to keep from having very short stitches that would break thread everything looks pretty good so I'm going to move on to the second layer of this design which will be the column stitch outline. 